to Faber International Church, and this is a recording, a testimony. And we are very, very blessed and very, very happy to have our sister Sarah with us. And here is Sarah. Sarah, say hi. 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 Welcome, everyone. Now, this interview is very special because um, we are looking at an artist in the making and an artist who is going to shine for Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, as you can see behind the background, there are two pictures that our sister Sarah has painted. So, Sarah, um, welcome to the program. Thank you. Yeah. Um, anything in particular you want to mention at the very onset? Mm, I praise the Lord. He has regained my faith mm. in people. He has regained my confidence in myself through my painting. Yes. And I was so broken that I have nowhere to turn to. And I praise the Lord for His salvation. Amen. I, re I wasn't even aware that He is the true God because I came from a family of worshiping idols. Mm -hmm. Like in the Buddhist, traditional Chinese, Chinese. traditional ways and ancestral worship. Ancestral worships and, and Buddhist, uh, and Buddhist background. Okay. Okay. And because my because my search for my identity as a Chinese immigrant in Canada. Because uh, when I came, it's very scarce to find Chinese um, culture. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because so how old were you when you were arriving in Canada? Mm, I was 12. 12? Yeah. Originally you were from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And at the age of 12, yeah. is your mother and your I came over by my mom. My, my grandfather was here and my, my, my dad um, sponsored us over. Okay. So is Toronto your place of landing? No, my landing was in Niagara Falls, which is very difficult for me because... That's a great place. Yes, it is, but no. Because, <laughs> yes, it is beautiful nature and all. But no, because I left home, with, like, in Hong Kong and my upbringing on the Chinese cultures. I was not really into it. I don't know too much, so I was too young to know. So you basically are saying you may have an identity conflict? Yes, because I have crisis where you're not sure I you're first, Chinese or you are Canadian or you are... <laughs> well, the thing is, the identity, my, my parents were really stressed about uh, being Chinese. Yes. And they're very much into that, you know, Chinese, the culture should remain mm -hmm. and it should not be merged with, you know, with any Western thing. And that's part of that, of my life. Yeah, so Canadian culture fits well because it's not like a United States a melting pot. Mm -hmm. Here it's a mosaic mm -hmm. where different cultures can maintain their unique presence right here in Canada. I appreciate, Canada I, appreciate yeah. I appreciate that now more so than I did before. Yes. Because before I was so young, I don't know, I lost all my friends because I don't know friends here. Mm -hmm. And then all my friends are back home and at that time at the sixties it's very hard to um, uh, maintain relationships with my friends in Hong Kong. I think when you come at age twelve you basically have some Chinese and Hong Kong culture, so to speak, and you come in to, to merge mm. with the local. Mm. But the local is more Niagara Falls culture, which is quite a bit different from Toronto also. Oh, yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it was. Truly it was. Wow. So how did you get to draw? I mean, these art pieces are just magnificently good. Well, actually, it was such a journey. Um, I love art all my life, all through childhood. I was very drawn into myself. Mm -hmm. And the only way I can express myself is through my painting. Like drawing to 
Because when you draw, you don't need to talk to anybody. <laughs> but you're very outgoing now. Um, You've been through a, a great journey of change and transformation. Oh, I have. Because um, our Lord Jesus Christ is amazing. He's amazing God. Amen. And He really transformed me. Mm -hmm. Because there was a lot of pain in me. Mm -hmm. through, through all my childhood. I didn't have a good childhood. Okay. Because my, my father was not with me when I was born. Yes. I did not come to see uh, know my dad until he was, when I was 12. So it's a strange man and then I call him dad and I had no relationship with him. Right. And at that time when I was in Hong Kong, I was like in my mom and myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was my world, so to speak. And then all of a sudden, my dad comes in the picture, and it's just like I was a teenager. I did not really know too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you you've gone from being very quiet and secluded, introvert, so to speak, to yourself. Yeah, because you I cannot speak be English at the time. Mm -hmm. And I learned my English. I don't even know my alphabet when I first came. And and I have that struggle through the teen years and mm -hmm. not knowing, mm -hmm. not much support from my parents, of course, because they don't know. Um, yeah. So did you start drawing? Like, did they send you to art classes when you were no. real young? No. No, because no. I I just. Um, I enjoy art. I, I enjoy nature. Mm -hmm. I enjoy beauty everywhere I can find beauty. Because the yeah, every with the artistic eye. Yeah. I just I just are blessed with that. I, I'm really blessed in the sense that even the circumstance might not be as beautiful, mm -hmm. but there's also beauty in everything that God created. Even human. Mm -hmm. In every person there's beauty. In that. So, yeah, it's beautiful now looking through that lens of the eyes of God, it, you know, Jesus, how he has such a compassion, you know. So later on at school, did you take uh, drawing lessons? No, they just have a basic, like, uh, art class. Yes. Like, you know, when you're studying through high school or, you know, they have that class, so to speak. Okay. And then your any encouragement from your teacher? Or well, your actually, or? I all all my life I was wanting to be a nurse. I wanted a, a nurse. nurse. Yeah, it's way different from uh, being a. Doctor. I know, and I study in all my curriculum to become to prepare myself to be a nurse. And then when I'm in grade thirteen year and and then twelve, I was undecided. I, I didn't know I could make it in chemistry. That's a certain thing that I'm not really like. And then one of my um, classmates in art, he saw my art and he kept telling me. I, I somehow I just had a summer job. Okay. And then he was in there and he kept saying, What? You don't waste that, you know, you just go to do art. <laughs> and he kept on pushing me to do that. Sometimes we do need somebody like that to speak into our lives, isn't it? Yes, it's, yeah. And then he just say that and he said, what have you got to lose? You are so good, you're wasting. I, then I said, okay, I will check it out. Before I know it, I was accepted. Great. And, um, and funny enough that as I went through that program, I really, I see so many facets of beauty and art. Mm -hmm. And that just captivated me. One of the first drawings that you have, mm -hmm. they steal objects, and they have scenic uh, views of nature, birds and animals. And oh yeah, I love people. nature. I love, I, I, I love portrait, I love people. Um, because we are so uniquely made. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the beauty of God's creation. So did you start with drawing humans? I draw human like portraits, yeah. and I do um, still life. Okay. And um, when I was.
artists and arts providers to going out to do the nature. Right. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much beauty in everything. Even the leaves have dropped and then this beauty is still remain. And it make it into a pattern of you know, for simple thing and then this is created into so many beautiful things. Mm -hmm. And that's how So Sarah, you have uh, been drawing and you love to draw and now that you've grown up in Niagara Falls mm -hmm. um, so what happened after that when you come out of your school? Well I went to school in Ontario College or I came to Toronto because of my schooling oh, okay. so and then um, yeah and then at that time during that time it's very hard to get into Ontario College or mm -hmm. I never thought about but because I have my portfolio, and then they just accepted me. Great. And I, 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 I was so surprised because I wasn't even thinking mm -hmm. or, or, or knowing what I was going to go through. Right? And then somehow after um, my, in, in Toronto, I've been living in Toronto and studying, and then I met my husband in Toronto. And your husband is Cam. Yes, my husband Cam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. <clears throat> There's a love story in between. We're going to have a, a different, very special episode on um, Sarah and Cam's marriage, actually. It was a great episode. Yes. So, um, so yeah. wait for that one. Don't miss that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, we were so much in love that we got married, and then immediately we had three children. Uh, because it's just sort of like, you know, my childbearing year is finished and then I can move on with my life yes. earlier. Yes. <laughs> so, and um, we, I just, we just divorced so much time with our children mm -hmm. that I really lost all that time that I, I need for myself, like, okay. and do my art thing. But nevertheless, when I was raising them up, I do art with them. I do, mm -hmm. I do art ranging from like painting to molding, like you know, um, or having gardening and how things to be nurtured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, during that time. And then so which one of your children picked up from, from you, picked up after you? I think my eldest son, Matthew. Matthew? He loved to draw, and he is, he is very sensitive to a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then while we were so busy, and then uh, I married my husband, but my husband is very Chinese, and mm -hmm. he loves um, Chinese culture, which he was about the same as my background. And his mother is also worship idolatry, and then I, like, I was, um, my mom was the same. And then we had, um, in the process of, um, you know, making a family. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, there's a lot went on between my husband and myself. I was seeking into areas where I can learn about Chinese culture. And yes. one of the things that attracted me was like, um, because I, I like art and I like culture, I like mm -hmm. and all that. And then, then I went into the Qigong, which was, I thought it was like, you know, just a culture thing, right? Yeah. But you know, you know, not knowing and got myself into that. And um, somehow the marriage breakup between me and my husband, mm -hmm. um, due to many factors of those things that affected my life. And I did not do much art because I um, was too busy driving my kids and nurturing them mm -hmm. and giving them their needs. Yeah, and the primary years are very important too, to have parental input and to build up the relationships with them. Yeah, yeah. so that was my... Um, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then we broke off. Broke off. 
So you you did you divorce your husband, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it must be a painful process for you. I did not realize um, what a marriage was mm -hmm. because I was not um, even though when I was uh, introduced Christianity when I was in Niagara Falls. But like I said, I did not know English that well. Mm -hmm. I'm learning and there was a lot of struggle. And at that time, so I don't really know the differences because of the influence of my mom and you know, her background right. of um, worshipping you know, other gods before. Mm -hmm. So even though I, 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 I probably um, accepted Christ, but yet has not much understanding at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are basically having a form of religion, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a routine going to church, but you did not really have a, a life connection where you experienced God in a personal way. No, because my mother would not allow me to go to church. Oh, I even okay. though my yes. even though my um, principal was kind enough to come to our home mm -hmm. and pick us up to go to church but um, my mom like you know would not allow me to go okay so I I have no not much understanding of the teaching at all so after you came out uh, of Niagara Falls and now you're in Toronto mm -hmm. you met up with your husband you have your family and, uh, you, and then you divorce your husband after how many years of marriage? Mm. How many years? I think at least 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a pretty long time. Oh yes. Okay. So how would that affect your your interest in arts? And because I was so drawing. You know, I did not realize what I. Um, how that divorce can impact my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have no understanding of that. Yeah. I was pretty naive in the sense that um, not knowing that marriage is a cousin. Because we got married in church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the blessing of God. Like, you know. Yeah. But um, even though he wasn't a Christian, I you know. mm -hmm. And, and you weren't a Christian yet when you were married to him, is it? No, no, no. Because no. uh, I, you can't say I am because I don't know. I don't even read the Bible. I don't really know. Okay. But I just, in my sense, I know certain things not to do. Like you, you, you don't want me to right. do the commandments. They, that, like it's a uh -huh. so obvious thing you don't do. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the point. So after your divorce, uh, what happened to to your life? Oh, uh, my life was downhill down ever since then, mm -hmm. until I come to know God again. God is faithful. Mm -hmm. He will drop the 99 sheep and to go search for that one. I think I was that one. And then he came in. Privileged one. I was just, um, because Jesus came for the week and I was so weak and then he came. and. Um, and I started to know and have faith in him. Mm -hmm. And um, I, after that, I, I, um, I was still going through my divorce 
when I went to church. Mm -hmm. Okay. The process of the divorce. Okay. Yes. And then uh, until one day I have sabbatic pain that I can't bear. Like you know, I can't even. I'm a car, but I cannot drive. That's like I cannot even. Pain. Yes, and I cannot work. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how many languages. I was so proud of myself. I, I have languages. I can speak English, Mandarin, and can. Like I, you know, even as much language or knowledge that I have in real estate, in world in business thing, I did not realize without God, I'm nothing. So you were bedridden. <laughs> I could not get out of my house because I was so much painful, and I cried out to God. I say, you know, and I even went to have. You know, I strive so hard to make it in life, mm -hmm. to go and 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 you know and, and get myself healed. Okay. And I try so hard. I even go to acupuncture. Mm -hmm. They say oh, acupuncture really help you and tai chi. I did all that, and it got worse, so to speak. It didn't get me better, but God was merciful because. What the church I went to, um, this one lady, you know, he, she knew um, I was in such a state, mm -hmm. and she said, "Why don't you come to this church mm -hmm. and 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 look for it?" You know, she's a you know, a, she they have very good speakers, so she invited me to come, and she would come to my house to pick me up. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I think he was away. I, yes, I was I, I, away. I, I didn't even visiting my family. I said, okay, you asked me to come, and she's not even here. What? <laughs> and then, uh, but God is merciful. I, I persist to come. And um, when after I came, I knew the truth about marriage, mm -hmm. about what the covenant means, mm -hmm. and I had to repent. Because I try to do all the right thing that God wants. Mm -hmm. So I restored, like I lowered my, I swallowed my pride, and I um, connected back with my husband, and he forgave me. Actually, um, it's an amazing story. It's an amazing testimony. Your husband forgives you for. Um, I know. For I, 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 I I was so blessed to. Because I think I I he really loved me so much that I'm spoiled. He spoiled me, <laughs> and not to mention about my own mother, she spoiled me also. Mm -hmm. And because of that, that didn't help me at all. I think the human love and 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 the love of God is like. God loved us, um, like he, he disciplined those who he loved, so mm -hmm. I, I see the, the differences between them. and now I uh, So you were reconciled back uh, to your husband? Yes. And then the children also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how, how did it affect your, your interest in arts all this <laughs> time and how did you pick up again? You know, the Lord is merciful. He is so merciful that I have such a deep root of um, how do I say? Hurt in my inside me that I was um, into. It's a deep wound. It's a wound, the wound soul. of her mm. root is so, so deep. Mm. It's beyond my even, beyond my imagination. Mm. Far beyond my imagination. But the Lord was merciful because when I came to Favorite Church, He let me saw my, my wrongs. Mm -hmm. And I started to repent. Mm -hmm. 
as I was going through that process, he healed me through my heart. Mm. Before I could even draw, because there's no desire, that is, I'm just like dead. Yeah. I, I couldn't even draw, draw. I, I couldn't even game. imagine to think. You are totally two different person. I couldn't even... I'm so thankful because he gave me my life back. Amen. And our Lord Jesus Christ is truly a God who loves us. We are his children. And the importance is knowing my identity. As his child. At that, I never really had. Mm. Right, because your dad wasn't with you for the first um, 12 years. Mm. So, nurturing is one thing, but the significance of having the father figure, it is such a significant in life that I'm not aware of that. Mm -hmm. But in the process also, through my repentance of knowing the significance of that, I don't want to deny that of my children. Yes. I witnessed the, uh, the process where Sarah had um, gone through from the very downs to the ups. And uh, truly, it's, um, I see that there's a process where you start to see things different from what was before. And I've seen some of her art pieces from before versus what she's drawing now. It was, a, I, I would say it was a, a process with different stages of milestones. And uh, as we can see the pictures behind us, um, this is not your first set of pictures. But this is the first set of pictures that um, paintings that she had done, and she has uh, given uh, to Faber International Church. I, actually I could say these are my first fruit yeah. from that first session of my healing. Mm -hmm. um, I feel therapeutic artwork. Yes. That God had, really that is a, a landmark. Mm -hmm. And I want to give this, it's like, to me the church is, God himself, and this is my first fruit that I want to give to God for what he have healed me through. And that was the first session of my heart The The church belongs to Jesus. I know, yeah. Yeah. And we're very privileged to receive a set of um, paintings from Sarah because it speaks volumes about how our mighty God can change lives. Yes. And pick up somebody from the really downs of depression. So uh, when Sarah first came, she was deep in a depression. Yes. And uh, there are certain things just that she was so enveloped by um, a consciousness or a reality of herself inwardly that uh, she may not be aware of. Uh, the, the realities that are out there. Yes. And I've, I've seen such a change in Sarah, um, so different. And especially, um, I remember when she first told me about the first painting she did. Can you mention a, a bit about this first painting that you did? It speaks about the breakthrough of your family. And it's the picture of a cross which you drew. Um, I have no idea what a lot of things meant at that time mm -hmm. because I was not totally been delivered and healed. But in that painting, I saw by the blood of Jesus a sacrificial that Jesus is the sacrificial lamb for my sin. Yes. So that I'm set free. That touched me. 
And that when I did the cross, is to remind myself. Although I may, at that time, I may not aware of the pain that he bore. He had 39 stripes, mm -hmm. that he can heal 39 mm -hmm. roots of disease. Right. But I, I was so ever grateful. And after I painted that, I can, I, I, I start another series of painting of, um, of. Now we are going to show uh, the picture, the first picture that Sarah had drawn. Um, if you take a close look at it, we're going to let you see how in looking at the cross, when one is able to see the depth of the cross, uh, one can begin the process of healing. And it's truly looking upon the light, the truth that comes from uh, Jesus Christ, uh, where our hope gets made alive. Yes. And we then have hope and we are able to see. Yes. That was a great painting. And uh, out of all this years of depression, there was the first light. Yes, that there was, was the first Christ. light I saw of God mm. and His love, actually. Because nobody on earth can ever die for me. Yeah. Well, you know, when I first looked at that picture, the thing that struck me was um, the cross is the covering where the people are underneath that covering. Mm -hmm. It was that thing that strikes me when I first look at it. And it was such an awesome thing. Um, can you um, can you reflect back? And uh, now that you look at this other set of pictures, from that first one to this one, what had happened to you now? You see, I I think this is the one you turn inside. Um, the Lord, he like. We have the Holy Spirit inside us, mm -hmm. and it is emotional, yes. and it's doing a lot of cleansing, a lot of cleansing. And so if we lot. take a closer look at the picture, and Sarah is saying that within her, God brings a lot of cleansing. Um, what else is in there? And it's like, like it's constant to our like a warfare, like all these things, it's like something has been, it's like the good guy and the bad guy, really. All the good and then all, the, all those, uh, as a fighting, fighting, in yeah. fighting in there. And then you see all this stirring up the motions. Inside. Yeah, yeah. The story, it's, yeah. It's, it's right inside me. I can see that, yes. And that, you know, all the thing is breaking down like my, I, like some of the things, like these things, it could be like, I, before I loved lotus. Lotus, yes. And, and, and that, 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 that lotus thing is like, it's being, like, it's being broken. The reason being is the concept of the lotus, the beauty of lotus is beautiful, but what I associate the lotus with, uh -huh. that's the way the root that brought me to be thinking myself being higher and above others. The root of the lotus? Yeah, the one of the, what the, my thinking mm -hmm. of the lotus when I see it. Oh, yes. My concept of understanding the lotus. Yes. It's like with, uh, like, although it raises up from dirt. Yeah. But, the mud. but the mud, right? Mm -hmm. But then you are higher than others. Okay. I, I bought into that. So would that be a concept of uh, self-elevation? Exactly. And, and being proud of yourself. Okay. Or being, you know, better than others. Okay. And that is, we have nothing to break, actually. So really. to you then, it was a symbol of pride. Oh yeah, I mean for you to be elevated above others. Yeah, okay. but the that is the way that 
Satan's plot, but I bought into that. Mm -hmm. And now I understand that if I elevate myself, I isolate myself away from people. Mm -hmm. God bring the dust, the mud, mm -hmm. and he moved into the grave. And we are so like, um, you know, we, we are made from that. And if we we'll make the dust for the dust, yeah. from the dust, from the dust, mm -hmm. and then when we are isolated, mm -hmm. the dust, mm -hmm. then we have to mm -hmm. Okay. So but all this thing is like breaking down some of my my head concept mm -hmm. of believing into mm -hmm. certain things. Yeah. And then when the truth of the Bible says. That brings the heal that, that the truth comes out. Okay. Because through the truth, you can be healed. Mm -hmm. You can be set free. Mm -hmm. So with the studying of the Bible, which is the truth, understanding that, and and I can every day in, in my mind, mm -hmm. it's like a, a warfare type thing. Mm -hmm. Like a warfare type. I, I, I like the motion because I see there's a stirring. Yes. See if you if you look at the the lines, you would see the circles and you would see the motion of turning. Yes. Yeah. I think it's a turmoil within. But uh, yes. Stirring. It's breaking or change. Yeah. Yes. There's something it, breaking of you. And it's birthing. Mm -hmm. Something birthing good is birthing inside, right. but it is. When we go through the processes of change, that's actually the, the process. Yeah, I, I, I just inside. have that in my head and I just... Yeah, and the removing of the old and the birthing of the new. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what I've been doing this every day. Mm -hmm. Inside me, especially through my painting, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. This is how he healed me. Mm -hmm. Through my deepest pain. Now, what about this one? This Can you I tell like. us uh, your perspective, your insights, and uh, your, your heart as you paint this one? <laughs> Actually, this painting is... It looks like a mountain. Or so, yes. But in itself... How do I say it? To me, it's a, it's a milestone. A milestone, okay. In a way that even 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 when we see challenges, yeah. But the Bible said even when we have as a faith as little as the mustard seed mm -hmm. can remove it. Uh, we, if we have faith like mustard, mustard seeds, seeds, as small as mustard seeds, as small as mustard seeds, we can we remove can the mountain. mountain. That's a great thing. And that's awesome. And I'm trusting the Lord and have faith in, you know, it, you just reminded me of a scripture. And I just, I just want to read it for all of us. Yes. Because it's, it's so striking that even with the a bit of faith that the Lord has deposited in us. Mm -hmm. The greatness of difficulties, even as big as a mountain, can be totally removed. And it's found in the, the book of Mark, chapter 11. And from verse 22, here um, the scripture says, Mark 11, 22, Have faith in God, Jesus answered. I tell you the truth, 23. If anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. 24, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, mm -hmm. so that your Father in heaven May forgive your sins. Yes. So it reminds me of this passage. 
mm. we can speak to. I mean, this this picture speaks volume. Because you are saying, with a small seed of faith yes. from the Lord, we can distract all those mountains in front of us, whatever mountains we think that they are there. Yes. This is just this is so awesome. True. It's a picture of faith. And then not only that, mm -hmm. if you look, it looks like it's the water running. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. To me, it's cleansing. Cleansing. The water speaks of cleansing, okay? And to me, when I look at it, it is from the perspective of Mark 11, you know? Mm. That mountain, we can command it and just speak to it and say, go, throw yourself back into the sea. Mm. And I can just imagine that this huge difficulty sinks back into the sea and it cannot rise up to, mm. to hinder the person anymore. So I'm thankful actually because just this process, mm -hmm. a process of waiting my husband returning yeah. and a process of his knowing the Lord. So when you, when you drew these two pictures, Kim wasn't really back into the picture yet, yeah. still in the process of coming back to yes. When, the, when I did this painting, he came back. But to me, that's why there was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But to you, now I see there's no moment. No, my it's next different. One, I my mean, next one, is such a victorious marriage. <laughs> <laughs> now, next one is not a mountain because <laughs> I, I commanded it to go. <laughs> And now is a mountain of triumph and victory for marriage. Exactly. In yes. Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Now, you have you have painted other sets of pictures, paintings mm -hmm. after these, and uh, now you begin to to flow in painting sets and sets of pictures and, and paintings. You want to mention a little bit about what happened to you now? Um. Actually, there's joy. Joy. Yeah. Because there's joy of his movement of love, peace, and all that he promises mm -hmm. to his children. Yes. And as his kingdom is here on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And now, however, we live here, but we have Jesus to walk alongside. Mm -hmm. uh, the amazing thing now happened is you, you should see this because Sarah receives an image from the Lord. It's about a five fish and a two uh, a five no, five loaves and two fish, and it became the logo of a, a ministry that uh, is birthed right here in Pebe International Church. You want to give us a little bit of light. Concerning his uni love. Yeah, because when I received that, although I, I do art, but I have not really done a logo. Mm -hmm. I, I, if I have to do a logo, it took me like in my level to, to think of a logo. Mm -hmm. It would be, you know, X number of days, months, you know. Yeah. But that just came mm -hmm. the night, you know, and he, let me see that, like their media thing, their painting, their thing that, like to reach out the gospel, to reach out to everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's his good news. And that he let me see this, it is through love. And the relationship with his love with me. Mm -hmm. And his comfort of his love to me. That Somehow that image of the logo of the union of King. Mm -hmm. And I just know that there's five uh, um, five loaves, five loaves and two fish. Mm -hmm. I love that logo. I do I do, do. I, so I just know it's not me. I did I, although I painted it, mm -hmm. but I know this is from him. Yeah. 
and I would not even know how to think of a name. Mm -hmm. The word uni is in unity of love. U-N-I-L-V. Unity, unity of in love. love. Unity in love. Mm -hmm. It's the bondage. It's, it's bonding. bonding. It's bonding. Mm -hmm. So God is love. Yes, he is love, and he we are brought together. Yeah, we brought we together to love. celebrate his greatness, mm -hmm. because his glory is with us. Yeah. And now, um, Sarah, after she has developed this logo, the Lord has um, before this given the um, the thought of beginning an art ministry, and it is for healing. It is for a therapy, it is for those who are seeking to find a place of refuge, to come to know God. And now, in the process of this development, comes Sarah having to organize different classes for people right. now. And then beginning drawing and beginning having a group of people draw together. And we are praying that this will form a ministry in the near, very near future. Because this starts already. I mean, once the trickle is just dropping out from the throne room of God, eventually it's going to flow like a stream, and eventually it's going to become a, a river. And eventually this river of life is going to carry all of us to flow in it, to the places where God wants us to go. That's right. Yeah. Actually, I did my first session at my home, after painting, yes. after gathering the people. Mm -hmm. I saw this, like one, a fellow in my class. Mm -hmm. um, when he first started, he was very timid, a lot of questions. And from his painting, you see. But then the final one, he start, he start drawing a figure, a, 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 a athlete to do um, like a body. Mm -hmm. That he became more total and centered. Mm -hmm. And all these sort of like questioning, like um, the timidity, like his timid. Mm -hmm. Timidity, yes. Yeah, timidity. And then when he come out, after that, I see there's such a change. In yes. Even in the way he speech, mm -hmm. before he was like, you know, very timid. timid. Mm -hmm. And then at the last class when he did, I had his whole session of the every painting of his. I can see from the very first one to the very last one, mm -hmm. the, the session finish. Mm -hmm. So I I praise the Lord because he he has his sadness too. He has his um, breakthrough. I see the breakthrough of something in him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that he is more into mm -hmm. It's very unique because life is just like you paint the first picture. Mm -hmm. And then as you journey on, you can paint the stages of the, yes. your process of changes and process right. of growth. Yes. And uh, it goes from picture to picture. And we are praying and believing. And it is a reality. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a sure reality for those in Christ. Yes. They will move from the picture of the chaos and the gloom and doom, you know. And we move to a greater hope and then the more we realize what we have in Christ, yes. the greater the glory, and we actually move from glory to glory, and from grace to grace, and from strength to strength, and from dominion to dominion. I experienced that. I yes. Experienced when in every stage that I was doing, mm -hmm. I, I felt such a transformation. And even my mindset, even my, my heart's desire had changed and transformed. I mean, before we live in that, a materialistic life, mm -hmm. that there is so many things, oh, you need to go buy this to order to satisfy. Mm -hmm. But there is no need to have anything. Mm -hmm. from, from, from that kind of lifestyle into a lifestyle of stillness in Christ, being with Him and being in peace. Now, Sarah is painting from year 2017, beginning the month of what, August? She started her first painting in the church worship service. And that's a new milestone. And we are praying because we're seeing how God brings the whole picture together, like pieces of puzzles. 
she's drawing from her own personal breakthrough. And you see the stages of breakthroughs she experienced in life and the victories that she attained. And now she's opening classes for other people to come so that from drawing, they can come into their breakthrough also. Right. And you can watch that and you can see, you can mother oh, that, them. We, that You know, we, you can shock it over them with this. And now the third stage, she's drawing in the church worship service for the glory of God. And that whole series of paintings are also different. Yeah, I actually, to be honest, I was very timid before. I, I, I would paint in my own home or something. I would not <laughs> paint outside or show people. Uh -huh. But because my mindset has changed, shift, yeah. I'm no longer about me. I'm thinking about it is for his glory. Yes. And it's my way of thanks, thanking to God mm -hmm. for what he has done for me. Amen. Now, Sarah, would you like to look to the screen and uh, speak a prayer of blessing? There may be someone out there who may be struggling with situations similar to yours, and God is calling them. I can sense that there is a healing anointing in your life as you speak a prayer to bless them. Let's believe for them to break through also. Amen. Amen. For those who are watching this video, I know it is God's appointed time that you watch this video and that I want to bless all those people, whatever situation you are in, the Lord is saying that He want to heal you. You don't have to be timid because He is with us and He want to reach out to all His children and He will come and seek for all of you. And I speak in an anointing of his healing Amen. come upon you all Amen. and come. Yes. The healing flows. Amen. Father God, we thank you for your healing upon my life and now I speak upon these people. Amen. Your people come to the, his healing Amen. and he shall heal you and you shall be transformed because he will make you a new person. In Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. And we are believing for another episode of Miracles to touch your life. And uh, stay in tune for this one. A victorious marriage. The Holmes family. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing with us. It's an amazing, amazing journey. The Lord bless you. The Lord is good. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.